Hi everyone, this is Michelle Belasker. I'm the coordinator for the Midwest Invasive Plant Network and I'm the administrator for UMISC 2022. Thank you so much for registering for the event. Um, purpose of this video is just to walk you through uh, using EventMobi, which is our online conference uh, platform. And this information is gonna be relevant to you whether you're participating uh, in person in Green Bay or participating uh, remotely. Um, for the most part, if you're going to be in Green Bay, the most beneficial way to uh, utilize the app or utilize EventMobi is going to be by downloading the app. Um, and you can do that here at eventmobi.com forward slash app. Um, and then just make sure you um, download it to whatever smart device you're going to have with you at the conference. If you're participating remotely, you're most likely just want to, going to want to use eventmobi.com and log in here so that you have the benefit of a, of a larger screen for when you're watching the live streamed sessions. So let's log in here. And first important thing to note is you're going to need the event code to log in, which is simply UMISC 2022. And that's the same for everyone. And then you're going to be prompted to log in. And the other important thing to note is that you need to log in with whatever email you use to register for the conference. Um, if you have multiple emails like I do, um, and the first one, you know, one doesn't work, I don't know, try the other one. If you still can't log in, please get in touch with me. You can either use this address here, mippin at mortonarb.org, or you can use my UMISC email, <clears throat> which is um, uh, admin at umisc.net. Okay, now it's going to take us to the conference platform. And here we are. So the first thing I'm going to want you to do once you've logged in is to go up to this uh, top right corner and edit your profile. And we encourage you to add a, a photo of yourself. Uh, if you're not comfortable with that, you can always put in, you know, a, some other professional image, you know, a landscape, favorite native plant, uh, invasive species you love to hate, whatever you like. Um, you can add your job title, your uh, organizational affiliation. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Not required, but we encourage it. And then, if you're with, if you're, um, if you're at the conference, um, you know, representing an organization, and you want to link to your organization's website, Twitter, Facebook, or LinkedIn page, you can do that here. Just make sure you click save. You can also edit your preferences. Um, so we encourage you to leave this on, uh, this enable messaging and meetings. This allows people to, um, other attendees to, you know, message you, you know, you can set up meetings, uh, you can, you know, just have conversations online. Um, if it's not something you want to participate in, you, you, you can toggle that off. Uh, we do encourage you, though, to leave on um, the notifications, especially, so that, you know, important information related to the conference uh, reaches you. The other thing, this is probably most beneficial for remote attendees. Uh, you can set the, uh, your time zone so that all the all everything in the schedule appears in your personal time zone. All right, let's go back to the home. Oh, one other thing I want to show you before we jump back. Um, the other things here in your profile are your agenda, so you can create a personalized agenda for the event. Um, you'll see right now I don't have anything in here, um, but we're about to change that. <clears throat> Let's go back to the home page and click on the agenda. And here you will see a list of all the sessions that we're going to be hosting at UMISC. So let's just choose one here. And here is where you can add it to your schedule. And now when I go back to my profile and click on agenda, it'll take a minute. There it is. All right. So you can create your own personalized schedule. And it just note, it will allow you to add sessions even if they are occurring at the same time. So just be wary of that. Okay, let's go back here for a minute and look at the sessions again. And I just want to show you all the different things that you can find within each session. So this box here is where the live stream will appear. <clears throat> Here's where you can participate in the chat during the session with other attendees. If you want to ask a question, and this is important, it applies to both in-person and virtual attendees. If you have a question for the speaker, we're going to ask that you put it in the event Mobi Q and A. That we feel like that's you know that's fair. That way, both we're hearing from both our in-person and um, virtual audience about what questions they want asked, and you can upvote 
So if someone else has already asked a question that's on your mind, you can upvote that. And so the questions that most people want answers to will rise to the top of the queue and the moderators can relate those, relay those to the speaker. In each session, you'll also find each individual talk, what time it's taking place. And there's a PDF here with all the um, speaker information and abstracts. Um, we also have a complete abstract document that will be loaded uh, shortly. This is a 100 plus page document. So you're of course welcome to download it, print it, whatever you like. But if you just want to, the abstracts from a particular session, you can get that from within the session. The other thing that applies to everyone is this post-session survey. Um, so we encourage everyone after each session to participate in this through the EventMobi app or online. It's real simple. It's a three question star rating um, survey. It should only take you moments to complete. We really encourage you to do it because of course it helps us know what sessions are resonating most with everyone and helps us hone events uh, in the future. Okay. Back to the homepage again. Um, this plenary link will take you to the UMISC website where we have uh, bios and abstracts from each of our plenary speakers as well as the time that they'll be presenting. <clears throat> we also have links to our exhibit hall and poster hall. Now this is probably most beneficial if you're participating virtually. Um, all, of the, all the exhibitors and all the posters will be on display in the KI Center exhibit hall in Green Bay. But if you're online, you're not going to miss out. Um, you can go to each exhibitor has a page set up um, where it tells you a little bit about them. Uh, in this case, they've uploaded a video. Uh, it tells you what session they're sponsoring in case you want to take part in that session, who the contact person is at the conference. Uh, they've included a product overview as well as multiple ways to get in touch with them. So please take the time to check these out. The poster hall is set up very similarly. So if you're participating virtually, you won't miss out on any of the poster presentations. <clears throat> Here you can see, read the abstract, see the authors, and you can download a PDF of the poster and view it. So I'll just show you that. It's gonna take a moment to load here. Hopefully your computer's faster than mine, but there you go. And then we're also going to put a um, the speaker, uh, we're going to link the speaker to each of these pages too, so that you can uh, have an easy way to contact them if you have any questions or want to discuss their work. Finally, this is applicable to everyone. You can join an online group discussion. <clears throat> this is such a nice way to foster communication across all attendees, regardless of where they are. Um, if you're having any issues, technical or otherwise, with the conference, you can uh, share them here. Um, hopefully, people can also share their solutions, and the staff can um, post some answers to frequently asked questions. We've got a general chat set up. Just you know, help us get to let's get to know each other a little bit. Of course, we need to you know make sure we keep this professional, please. We've got one we can share takeaways from the plenaries. We have a CISMA after hours um, discussion group. Our in-person um, coordinators are going to have a <clears throat> get together after the last session, after the CISMA special session. I think taking place on Wednesday, I believe. Um, but we don't want the online uh, coordinators to miss out. So um, this is designed to just be kind of informal. So you know, grab your beverage of choice and, and take part in this for just a relaxed discussion of um, your strategies, your methods um, with regards to invasive species management, and hopefully learn from each other. And then we have one set up here to share your final thoughts. You know, before you leave the conference, you know, what inspired you? What did you learn that you're going to take back and apply to your work? Um, and I want to make sure I point out that I can add to this. So if anyone has a, a talk, a session, a, a topic that they'd like to foster conversation around, let me know and I'd be happy to set up a discussion group for that. But it does have to be done by the uh, administrator. So let me know if you'd like me to do that. Okay, finally, um, probably the most important thing for our online participants is being able to actually see the live stream sessions. So everything is being live streamed um, with the exception of uh, our two workshops. And this is going to look just like when we, we were exploring all the information related to the sessions. 
this box right here will be the live stream session. So it's just a point and click. You can take notes here, send them to yourself later, participate in the chat. As remember, if you want to ask questions, use the Q&A and complete the post session survey at the end. OK. And speaking of evalu uh, surveys and evaluations, uh, when your conference experience is complete, please fill out a conference evaluation. It really helps us make sure we continue to improve the UMIS experience. Make sure I want to point out to you that you can contact all of the speakers here as long as they have their messaging enabled. Same with all the attendees at the conference are all listed here. And if you need to contact our staff, uh, here is a list of our staff members. Um, I will probably be your first point of contact for most, um, for most issues. Uh, and then finally, just for a little fun, we do have um, some online challenges set up. Um, this is, you know, both in-person and uh, remote people can take part in this. Um, just a chance to kind of get to know your hosts, our sponsors, and uh, draw a little attention to our first UMIS Guard show that we're pretty excited about. Uh, oh, and finally, we do have documents here. So um, this is a searchable um, section. So let's say you want to know if uh, CD3 company has shared any documents. Yes, they have. You can find their product overview by doing a search here. Um, you can also go, of course, to their exhibit page, but there's multiple ways to find that information. Uh, and if we have any announcements during the conference, they will appear here. So be sure to keep tabs on that. Okay. Um, so just to recap, if you're going to be in Green Bay, please download the app prior to coming to the conference. Otherwise, um, go to eventmobile.com, log in, make sure you can log in, um, edit your profile, you can create your agenda ahead of time if you like, and just do a little exploring. And if you find anything that needs to be updated or, or changed, please let me know as soon as possible. Again, you can reach me at admin at umisc.net.